I, I think it's important to realize that there may be a time uh, with your caseworker, maybe maybe personalities come into play. It, um, I thought our caseworker was completely competent. There was nothing wrong with what she did. She was, and we were very grateful that that we had her. Um, but I, I think there might, you know, you might experience some personality conflicts. Sometimes it doesn't negate the fact that that they're doing a really good job. You just, you're just not real comfortable at at the time. Um, but it doesn't mean that 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 caseworker isn't doing all that he or she can for for your welfare and for the baby's welfare. I actually, my first caseworker, um, I think we did have a little differences in personality and I needed to just vent, vent sometimes and she had a hard time letting me talk about my feelings if it wasn't related to adoption. Um, and that, that was hard for me. And so one day she was gone and I needed an appointment. So I met with a different caseworker who I, I know it was a blessing that I was supposed to meet with her because I ended up changing to her. And I told my parents, I'm like, I like this other caseworker. What do I do? Cause I don't want to hurt the first one's, you know, feelings. And, but again, I'm like, no, I need to do what is best for me in the situation. And I changed caseworkers and I still see the first one and it's not a big deal. I say hi to her, it's not a big deal. But the second one was just what I needed. She just listened a lot. Like sometimes I would just go there and she would just, she wouldn't say anything. She would just listen. And um, I just, I mean, she did do everything that she was supposed to do. Um, she told me when I told her my different plans, such as not placing at the hospital, taking the baby home for a couple nights. She told me that that wasn't the normal thing to do, what normal birth moms did. And I said, well, can I do it? Is it a possibility? She said, yeah, <laughs> you need to do, you know, so she let me do what I needed to do, even though maybe that's not what everyone else did. And that's what I needed in a caseworker. And so she was, she was really she, good. She went with the flow. She, she helped you to go through the process the way you needed to go through yeah. the process. Yeah. And she also, um, the first caseworker had a hard time giving me more profiles. Like I said, I probably ended up having about 50 and she only really wanted to give me like five, maybe 10. <laughs> and I wasn't going to take them. I mean, I brought them back, but the other one was just more relaxed and just, I guess, I don't know, trusted me that I wasn't going to do anything with them. And she just, yes, you know, she was very willing to do what I needed um, for the whole process. So <laughs> yeah, she was a real good listener and, and helped you. Yeah. So. My caseworker, like she was helpful and there for me, but at the same time, her husband traveled a lot, so she would be home with her kids. And like on days where we needed to meet, I met with the adopted caseworker, adopted parents caseworker, and told her how I felt. And when the birth father um, was starting to be, you know, mean and everything, I went to the adopted parents caseworker and I was like, am I allowed to change my number? Cause I can't handle this. And she looked at me, she goes, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So I changed my number and then the next week, um, they were going around the room and everything. And I was like, I'm doing adoption. And the adopted caseworker, the adopted parents caseworker was like, oh, do you need profiles? I'm like, nope, I know who I want to adopt my baby. And she's like, oh, she's like, okay, hold on. So she called my caseworker and was like, Lindy's gonna place. She already knows who she's gonna place with. She's set up. And then that was when, like, that was in the beginning of December and it was December 28th that we had our meet. Mm 